welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl star and i am back with another banger period this hair was actually provided by one of my clients um from a specific vendor this hair was so good like it was black long thick shiny and healthy it was, everything about this hair was just amazing i loved it so much as you saw in the title this video is about transforming black hair into ginger hair so just watch me work walk in my direction i go the other and up way i start to stutter when the speed you understand my knees go weak what's happening to me in the dark can you tell me I started by adding a 40 volume developer to bleach and then just mixed it and got like a paste like consistency you don't want it too thin or you're just gonna run through it like what and it's not gonna like bleach the hair properly so I get this I just go ahead and apply it to different sections of the hair so I, do, I apply it to the whole hair but in sections and comb through as I'm applying it so it basically goes through every bit of the hair I lay my head on my pillow staring out the window trying to stop for a sign the reason why the bleach is like really strong especially the consistency that i got it to it made like my room smell like bleach so when you're doing this just make sure to have like a mask and gloves on to just protect yourself so after going through each section, I left it for about 60 minutes and then went ahead to do the bleach bath method because the hair didn't lift as much as I wanted it to lift for the first time. So then I went in again with the bleach bath method. I wonder if you know, do you have a clue? I lay my head on my pillow. You got me staring out the window. We're showing the stars outside. What's the reason why? The bleach bath method is literally the easiest way to lift your hair from like black to brown or from black to uh, honey blonde so you can color it so if you don't know how to go through in sections i say do this but make sure you're combing through it and making sure the product is going everywhere <laughs> To achieve this color, I actually use the watercolor method and I use a French coconut candle dye, like four bottles of this, just to achieve a good and vibrant color. So, this is a level the hair lifted to after bleaching it twice and for like two hours. Depending on what hair you're using, it can lift like to about 613 or it can lift to like a honey blonde level, just depending on the hair that you're using. So, make sure you keep an eye on the hair and don't over bleach it to mix the color in the hot water just keep on whisking it till there's no lumps because if there's lumps in the water it can give your hair like patches of different colors when you color it <laughs> realized over the years of coloring hair and all is that when you start by putting 
the tip in first like it takes all the color so what i would say start by putting the middle part of the hair in and then you work your way to the tip and then to the frontal bit and then just keep brushing through to get all the products in the hair all the products <laughs> How beautiful the color came out yes this is how beautiful it came out i was really happy with the results my clients was happy with the results as well we both loved it so much so what i done is that after coloring i treated the hair for about two hours and then after that i just left it to air dry and yeah this is what came out this is the result <laughs> before when the hair was wet it was quite dark and it didn't look like this at all but then it dried really light and really nice so you keep an eye on that mostly when you're coloring hair and the hair is wet it's really dark however it dries lighter however depending on the hair and the color of your choice it might dry darker instead of lighter so just keep an eye on that and yeah if you want to achieve this color just follow these steps and you will achieve this exact color so this is me just plucking the hair in sections plucking the hair making sure that it's given a natural hairline and then prepping it for my client's appointment <music> I know a few of you have questions about the lace how did i avoid color gain on the lace how did i prevent the lace from getting stained so normally when i'm coloring to like a lighter color i don't normally protect the lace because i have a method of using where i don't dip the lace in the colored water for it to be stained in the first place however to keep your lace from getting stained i do recommend got to be spray got to be gel conditioner hair conditioner you can put vaseline but that's really hard to get off your lace or any glueless hairspray or glue hairsprays that you have just spray like four or five times from the lace blow dry it make sure it's dry then you go ahead and color your hair there will be no stains on your lace <music> obsessed with this color we loved how it came out me and my clients loved it so much it looked so good on her go ahead to our tiktok and instagram page just to see how good she looked with this color because wow it was amazing so achieve this color so i hope you learned a thing or two from this video make sure to watch the whole video if you want to achieve the exact same thing and thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe bye